Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be um, what I'm reading video. Um, I talked about how in my new channel direction video, and I'll put a card somewhere up in here that will tell you about that, that I was wanting to do some more um, lifestyle type videos. And this is one of them that I chose was um, what I'm reading. Anyway, um, before YouTube, I used to read a lot, a whole lot. And then when I got started you know, watching YouTube, I kind of put my reading on the back burner. And this year I decided that I wanted to get back into my reading. So, um, and one of the people that inspired me to do this was Candy from The Candy Show. And um, she had been showing some books that she was going to be reading for the whole year so she did a book by month and some of the books that she talked about and showed I wasn't really interested in I figured I knew that I wouldn't get into them enough to where I would be able to finish them and read them and then the one books that I was interested in when I went to my local library they didn't have except for one and so I went ahead and got it I think she was going to read this this summer but I went ahead and picked it up and have been reading it and it's this book here which is by um, Jane Austen and it's called Mansfield Park now I will tell you that I have never read a Jane Austen book I know I know that is so bad but I have not um, of course I've watched movies that are based off of her books and enjoy them to an extent I find that they're kind of hard the dialogue is hard to follow well the book is even harder to follow as far as the dialogue it took me a little while to get used to the dialogue and I'm not finished I am to here I'm on page 223 and there is 366 pages and this is one of the type of books that you have to read and process every single word of every line I mean you can't skip a couple lines and then still know what's going on because if you skipped even just a paragraph you, they can be totally talking about something else and the topic is totally different it's just I have found that it's a really hard book to follow and when I first started reading it I saw I'm not going to be able to finish this and I'm going to try and but now um, I'm to here and um, I definitely want to finish it because I want to find out who this girl that this book is mainly based on I want to find out who she ends up with it's almost like a romance okay but um, basically what it is, there's three sisters. And I'll tell you because this does not tell you anything about the book. When you go to get the book, there's nothing that tells you what a synopsis of what the book is about at all. So there are three sisters is how the book starts. One marries very well. The other one marries a clergyman. And then the third one marries, if I remember correctly, a sailor or something to that effect. Someone that's pretty much low on the totem pole as far as society and doesn't make a whole lot of money. Well, the two older sisters, well mainly the middle sister, the one that married a clergyman, who is a very, she's a busybody, okay? She's a busybody. And um, she decided that the older sister who married very well should take it upon herself to go to the younger sister who did not marry so well and who was getting ready to have her ninth child to um, take one of the children and raise as their own. Well not necessarily as her own but as a niece and as a niece that is made aware every single day of her life that she is not the same caliber or social status as what her cousins are like here are her cousins and here is her and then here is like the servants she's not much better on the level in the sister's eyes as being that much better than the servants and she's made very well aware of that throughout her entire life anyway so basically the book is about her her name is um, Frances or Fanny as she goes by and about how one of the sons 
her cousin Edmund he as when she came to them as a little girl she was nine um, he took it upon himself to really kind of befriend her um, the two girls they were nice to her but not necessarily close like sisters would be and then the other brother he was too busy being a teenage boy and doing what teenage boys do at that time so she has pretty much fallen in love with Edmund, which is her cousin, which during that time frame, you know, cousins marry cousins, first cousins marry first cousins. They just do. And, but he's in love with someone else, um, with um, a young lady by the name of Miss Crawford, Mary Crawford. And Miss Crawford's brother, Henry, who is considered to be a playboy, and doesn't want to settle down he just wants to play the field so to speak he has decided at this point in time in the book that he is infatuated with um with fanny which she is just mortified by it because she knows that he's a playboy she has no feelings for him whatsoever She's in love with Edmund, but she knows that Edmund, you know, is in love with this other lady. But this other lady doesn't want to marry Edmund because Edmund is the second brother and he is going to become a clergyman. Now, if he wasn't going to become a clergyman, she would probably be all more than willing to marry him. But she doesn't want to be married to a clergyman. So anyway, so I'm kind of interested to see what happens between Edmund and Fanny and, um... Miss Crawford and Henry. So anyway, anyways, did I tell you what the name of it is? It's Mansfield Park. Uh, that's where they live. So anyway, so reading that. And then the other book that I'm reading is by J.D. Robb. She is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite author. Um, I forget what the technical name for this is, but she, her, all of her other books that she writes is, um, gosh, I can't even think of what her name Ooh, I forgot um, not JD Robb the next book that I've been reading is by JD Robb and this is a series book it's the in-depth series um, I've been reading these for gosh, several years now um, they started out in the year 2050 and basically it's about Eve Dallas who is a, a um, cop started out as a cop in New York and now she has um, been promoted to lieutenant and it's basically about her life and the crimes that she helps to solve and I just find it very very interesting it's an easy read um, it's kind of futuristic um, her cop car can go airborne and fly over things and <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's good I like it um, she's pretty much She's a badass. I like her. I wish I was her because um, she's just super tough. And it's really kind of funny that I relate to her as much as I do because she is like the total opposite of me. Um, she doesn't care what, not one iota about makeup, clothing, being fashionable or anything. She just wants what is functional and that's not going to get in the way of her catching the bad guys. But her husband, his name is Rourke and he is like a billionaire and he provides her with all these really nice stuff that she has no idea how to wear it, what to do with it. It's really kind of comical but um, I really do like it and like I said I've been reading them for a while. She usually comes out with them um, with a new one like twice a year. So, and I don't know how many titles there are. Looks like there's like over 30, maybe 40 in the series already. So, if you've not tried it, the very first one in the series, and you definitely want to start from the very beginning, it's called Naked and Death. So go to your library, your local library, and request that you can get Naked and Death and start there. Once you start with the one, that one, I think you will be hooked and will really enjoy it. So anyway, that is what I'm reading this month. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.